Hi, it's me, Clarissa, back again with another banger of a video. For someone who doesn't wear jewelry like ever, I sure do like making jewelry. Recently, I've been trying to come up with a good LED bracelet design. LED jewelry is all about one thing, deception. Mostly, how can we hide that there's a circuit in it with it still being aesthetic? For the uninitiated, the basic circuit I'm working with is just a battery and an LED. Basically, our end goal is to run a wire from the negative to the positive side of the battery through the LED. No resistors here because we like to live on the edge. The LEDs have some sort of finite resistance in them, right? The LEDs aren't perfect. I mean, right? How much stuff is there online where people do that and literally it, it could blow up in a couple hours or it could last longer than you'll care about that project? Also, is it literally going to blow up? No, they're just going to die. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a little hard in the LEDs, but like it's also probably fine. There's already a couple good LED jewelry designs out there, including my own personal genius of this LED earring. The battery is discreetly hidden behind the legs of the LED. This is probably a good time to admit that my ears aren't even pierced, so I don't, I don't even know why I made these. <laughs> a lot of people will use these teeny solder mount LEDs, but I can't stand them personally, so I was trying to get a good design with big, chunky, 3mm and 5mm LEDs. Hiding the LED was easy. I designed a couple small 3D printed enclosures. I also experimented some with the wire to figure out how to make it, um, not look like wire. I, I braided it some, I crocheted it, I wrapped it in thread. What about that battery though? We're gonna use one of these small three volt batteries and the power of magnets using a magnetic bracelet closure. You can see the possible variations in my examples. Different 3D printed enclosures, different wire treatments, but they all magnet to a battery in the back in order to light up. I'm gonna build a new one to show you. This time, I'm going to put the three LEDs in parallel. This means our circuit will look something like this. The LEDs will need to sit perpendicular in a 3D printed case, so I trimmed down the leads. Next, we're soldering the LEDs together, being careful to solder the positive to the positive. And we're leaving a long tail at the end, one on the positive side and one on the negative side. Next, I tested everything's going to work and hot glue into place. Additionally, I'm hot gluing an unattached piece of wire. This is to make it look like the wire is running all the way through. Like I said, deception. And then loop the wire through the end of your magnet enclosure to solder it to itself. Uh, warning, I would not try and solder the wire to the enclosure itself, even if it is metal. Magnets seem to lose their magnetism if you heat them up to say 750 degrees with a soldering iron. Once you're done, seal your heat shrink, put your battery in the middle and take it for a spin. You might have to switch it around to get the positive end to the right end, but once you do, it should light up. Hopefully this gives you some basic design ideas to try on your own. After making this bracelet, I was actually fairly inspired and decided to take this to its logical conclusion. That's right, a matching set. How do you model a necklace and a bracelet at the same time? And yeah, I did just make you brave year again. 